Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So friends, we have started a series on basics of dual fuel engine. And uh, in this series, we are covering LGIP engines. So till now, we have covered the supply system for this LGIP engine. Now in this video, we will see the fuel wall train. So what is fuel wall train and uh, why it is there, its requirement, its function, everything we will see in this video so let's begin with the video so before we begin with the video i would like to uh, remind you that till now we have covered the lpg fuel oil supply system so in that we have covered the deck tank that is the supply system and uh, the fgss kit which is the circulatory system for the uh, dual fuel or basically the secondary fuel for the dual fuel engines so I would recommend uh, for better understanding please watch all the 5 videos on LPG supply system for this LGIP engines. So now let's begin with this video and see what is fuel wall train or in short FPT. So as you can see from this diagram so this is the fuel storage and supply system. So uh, this part we have already covered. And this is the main engine, LGIP engine you can say, okay, or basically the main engine that is the uh, dual fuel engine. So this over here which you are looking at is the fuel wall train. So this is basically a connecting link between the uh, fuel oil supply system and the main engine. So this uh, fuel wall train is basically divided into two parts you can say this is supply wall train and other is this return wall train so first we will see the overview of this whole system that is the fuel wall train and then after that we will separately see the supply wall train as well as the return wall train so if we see fuel wall train as a single unit then it basically maintains the lpg inlet supply and the return so from this diagram as you can see this is the FGSS system which we have already discussed in our previous videos so this uh, this is the inlet to the engine so it is not going directly to this main engine it is going to the main engine by this uh, supply wall drain so this is the supply unit which you can see over here this is the FGSS skid is the basically supply unit so from supply unit it is going to the uh, supply wall drain and from supply wall drain it is going to the main engine and from main engine why return wall train it is going back to the supply system so this is the uh, supply system is basically the fgss kit so this is the return line from the main engine so now the question comes that why we need this fuel wall train basically we have this supply system and we have main engine why can't we uh, supply lpg directly to main engine through the supply system why we need this fuel wall train in between and the answer is this fuel oil train is basically a safety unit that isolates the main engine from fuel gas supply system when there is some kind of abnormality uh, in the main engine when it is running on dual fuel. So basically when main engine is running on dual fuel and it faces some kind of abnormality then it will automatically isolate the uh, fuel gas supply system from the main engine and it will change over to primary fuel. So for this purpose, so basically for isolating the main engine from the supply system, we need this fuel wall drain. So if we compare this system with the uh, fuel oil supply system for the normal engine, so over there we have an isolation wall for the fuel oil pump or fuel oil booster. So uh, what happens uh, if we need to isolate the fuel oil to a particular unit, then we shut off that wall so the function of that wall is actually carried out by this fuel wall train and over there we have to do it manually so manually we have to shut the oil but over here this fuel wall train is uh, basically uh, carrying out all its function automatically human intervention is not uh, required for uh, its job so to automatically isolate the main engine from the fuel gas supply system this fuel wall train is equipped with several actuators switches and transmitters so uh, these uh, actuators basically 
a signal from the engine control system and actuates accordingly to isolate the main engine from the supply system in case of any abnormality. Isolating the main engine from this fuel gas supply system is the main function of this fuel water drain. Now uh, the main engine is stopped. Okay, it was running and now it has changed over to primary fuel. So after isolation, what will happen to this leftover LPG which is there in this line? Okay, so the other function for this fuel oil train is to recirculate the leftover LPG in the piping back to this FGSS skid that is the fuel oil supply system. So that is the next function of this. Uh, fuel oil drain. So this basically is carried out by the nitrogen. So nitrogen is uh, nitrogen pressure basically acts as the pushing medium or pushing force. So nitrogen is supplied to this uh, supply oil drain, and this pushes the leftover LPG in the piping, and through this return oil drain, it is uh, returned back to this fuel oil supply system or FGSS as you can see from this line it will go to this catch tank. So till now we have seen that this fuel oil train basically isolates the main engine from the fuel gas supply system in case of any abnormality and this nitrogen pushes back the leftover LPG in the piping from the uh, fuel oil train to the main engine back to this fuel gas supply system. Now the next important function of this fuel oil train is purging. So basically purging of the piping system from this fuel oil train to the main engine and from the main, on, main engine to the return oil train. So this nitrogen is used as a purging medium for this piping system. So this purging is basically carried out automatically. Now suppose if a system is stopped and we need to carry out some kind of maintenance on the system. So this nitrogen can be used as a purging medium and for that there are temporary connections for the nitrogen supply in this fuel wall train. So with the help of those connections we can purge the system or we can purge the portion of system and we can carry out the maintenance. So till now we have seen that when main engine is changed over from secondary fuel to primary fuel this uh, fuel oil train will isolate the fuel gas supply system from the main engine and this nitrogen will push the leftover LPG in the piping from this uh, fuel oil train to the main engine back to this fuel gas supply system through this return line to this catch tank. So that was the normal changing over of main engine from secondary fuel to primary fuel. But there may be cases that when something happens to the piping system or sub abnormality happens in the main engine. So what will happen in that case? Like suppose uh, this piping from the fuel wall train to the main engine are basically double wall pipes. And uh, the annular space of these double wall pipes are basically monitored. Basically the hydrogen concentration of those spaces are monitored. And if the sensor detects a uh, hydrocarbon in those area or, or, or in those section then it will basically uh, give command to the engine control system to stop the main engine from running on uh, secondary fuel. So basically uh, at that time the secondary fuel of this, uh, the main engine will stop the secondary fuel immediately. So this uh, supply system will immediately stop the supply of this. Uh, LPG to the main engine and it will be changed over to primary fuel immediately. So in normal stopping it takes time from uh, like suppose it will take uh, 5 minutes for uh, changing over from secondary fuel to primary fuel but in case of any abnormality in that case it will uh, immediately shut off this LPG supply and it will change over the main engine to primary fuel immediately. and uh, what will uh, what will happen to the leftover uh, LPG which is there in this section? So for that case, this nitrogen will push the leftover LPG to the atmosphere. You can see over here this knockout drum. Knockout drums are basically the uh, vent mass. So from this whole section, from the supply wall train till return wall train, 
and this main engine this whole piping section from fuel oil train to the main engine is purged out to this knockout drums or you can say the vent mask so in case of any abnormality the leftover lpg will be will not be recirculated back to this fuel gas system instead it will be purged out to the atmosphere so till now we have discussed uh, its use when main engine is stopped uh, during normal stopping as well as during emergency uh, emergency changeover so now we will see uh, what is the function of this fuel oil train when main engine is started or it is changed over from primary fuel to secondary fuel so in that case before it is uh, before this changeover is carried out all the piping or the pipe sections from this fuel oil train to the uh, this uh, main engine is pressure tested with the help of this nitrogen so this nitrogen supply is there in uh, a supply wall train and with the help of engine control system this whole section from this supply wall train to this uh, return wall train are pressure tested including the annular space of this uh, double wall piping so everything is pressure tested before the main engine is changed over from primary fuel to secondary fuel the outer piping is not pressure tested with the nitrogen it is pressure tested with the seven bar uh, air normal air so the other important feature of this fuel oil train is the double block and bleed system so in this system there are two walls in series and the section which is blocked is uh, vented to the vent mask through this bleed wall so as you can see from this picture these two walls are the double uh, block walls and this wall over here is the bleed wall so this system of double block and bleed system is used on this uh, supply wall train as well as on the return wall train in the supply wall train this basically isolates the uh, supply system from this supply wall train so in the starting only this block and bleed system will be there and for the nitrogen also when nitrogen is connected to the supply wall train it is connected through this double block and bleed system similarly in the return wall train this uh, supply uh, wall system, supply uh, fuel gas supply system is connected through this double uh, block and bleed system and the main engine is also connected to this return wall train through this double block and bleed system so uh, till now we have seen this fuel oil train as a whole system now let's cover this supply fuel oil train as well as the return fuel oil train separately so the supply fuel oil train basically contains the block and bleed system as well as normal walls plus the uh, switches and the transmitters so this block and bleed system is provided for the connection of nitrogen to this fuel oil train so as you can see over here this is the block and bleed system for the inert gas system that is the nitrogen so over here if you see this is the block and bleed system for the nitrogen now next is uh, the this is the uh, lpg supply system or the uh, fuel gas supply system this is connected to this fuel oil train over here from the uh, by this block and bleed system over here, over this over here as you can see okay so the fuel gas supply system as well as the nitrogen uh, uh, supply is connected to this supply fuel oil train through this block and bleed system now this is the main engine over here this is the wall which is isolating the main engine from this fuel oil train so this is basically the outlet wall for the supply fuel oil train and this is the orifice provided onto this supply fuel oil train for slow filling of the main engine during starting so if this wall is not there then the pressure fluctuation will be there in the system and the system will trip on its own because it is very much sensitive to the pressure fluctuations so for that purpose first the system gets filled with this orifice and then after that this wall is opened so if you see there is nothing uh, uh nothing uh, complex in this uh, supply fuel wall train only uh, block and bleed system is there and orifice is there for uh, slow filling of the main engine
so now let's discuss the return fuel oil train so similar to the supply fuel oil train this return fuel oil train also contains the valves with actuators for automatic operation of this return fuel oil so for connecting the main engine to this return fuel oil uh, the double block and bleed system is provided so this over here you can see this is the double block and bleed system for connecting the main engine to the return fuel oil now this uh, return fuel oil train is connected to the sub gas supply system that is the FGSS kit through this double uh, block and bleed system so two double block and bleed systems are there one for connecting the main engine to the return fuel oil train and other connecting the return fuel oil train to the uh, FGSS kit or the fuel gas supply system now uh, one more wall is provided over here you can see this one this is the pressure control wall so this wall basically maintains the back pressure in the main engine so now let's see what happens when engine is running and when engine is stopped so when engine is running the LPG will be recirculated or the excess LPG will be recirculated back to this fuel gas supply system as you can see over here now when engine is stopped because of some abnormality then what will happen in that case this block and bleed system which is connecting to the uh, fuel gas supply system that will come into operation that is these two walls will shut and the blocked area over here will be vented to the atmosphere now the other thing uh, that will happen is that these two walls will open okay and they will uh, vent out the LPG which is there in the piping uh, from the uh, supply fuel oil train to the main engine and from the main engine to this uh, return fuel oil train so that much L LPG will be vented out uh, to the atmosphere and this uh, gas which is uh, sorry this LPG which is there in the piping it won't be recirculated back to this uh, fuel gas supply system that is the catch tank so in case of emergency these two walls will open and they will directly vent out the leftover LPG in the uh, main engine for the basically the piping from the fuel oil train to the main engine that will be vented out directly to the atmosphere and uh, in normal running the uh, the excess LPG is recirculated back to this fuel gas system so this was all about fuel oil train so hope you have understood or if you have any doubt then you can ask me through the comments so till then take care have fun